I would talk to the friend and tell them to chill out, but as far as telling the other person, they ain't got nothing to do with me. Hey y'all, my name is Bree. And I'm Chris, and, and this, this is Caught Up. Up. First question, is it better to address small issues immediately or should we choose our battles and let something slide? Ooh, <laughs> I mean, certain things can slide, but not all things can slide. I say it depends on what the small issue is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We we low key been in this predicament before though. Yeah, and you know the small things turn the big things. I don't know. And when we really let it slide, it don't really slide for real. Mm -mm. Mm. I say address it, but like respectfully. Yeah, respectfully calm. address yeah. it because if you, I feel like if you don't, and speaking from experience, it'll get bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger until it's way too much. Should partners be responsible for each other's emotional well-being, or is it, or is that an unrealistic expectation? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I say yes and no. The reason I say yes is because your partner is supposed to like be there for you emotionally, physically, and mentally, and like. They're, su they're supposed to be your safe space. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be that person where you can just go and you're able to completely fall apart mm -hmm. in front of them. And they're there to pick you up and like help you feel better. But I also feel like you need the emotional independence as well to be able to pick yourself back up because mm -hmm. your part, sadly enough, your partner will not always be there when you, sure. sadly, when you need them. See, I'm gonna say yes. But it's only because I've been emotionally independent in a relationship I've been in. That's fair. So leaning on somebody emotionally in a relationship, I feel like that would eat. It has its ups and downs, I feel like. Because sometimes I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel it. I just want to ignore it like it's not there and deal with it on my own time. Yeah. But my problem with that for myself is that my mood changes and everyone around me can feel it. And that's something I'm still trying to work on. Hence why when I'm in a mood, I don't be around anyone. You wanna clear the whole area when you're in the mood. I just go by myself and deal with it by myself. Yeah. And then wait till I'm ready to talk. And you know how I am. You know I ignore it, but it will always be a problem. Always be a problem. <laughs> Cause, Cause I can't hide that. I'ma move on, but I ain't gonna move on for real. That's why sometimes I have to force you to talk about it. Because if I don't, you just gonna dwell in it until you have a big blowout. So I try to go ahead and get it over with. Go ahead and get you to see reason and figure it out and just get it all out. But sometimes you won't let me, so. Cause, cause, uh. like, cause it, it, it's like how it is with you. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just wait. I'll be wanting to wait. Cause boy, I know one time. <laughs> no, I, I feel like I like talking about it, but then getting it, I don't. Cause sometimes, yeah. sometimes you know, I'll be making stuff bigger than what it needs to be, and I'll be, yeah. I'll be, I'll be doing it. I'll be doing the damn thing, man. Oh, I'm gonna let you go first. <laughs> um, do I know the other person? It's, he said your bestie. Like, do I know the, the other person in the relationship? Oh, okay. So, honestly, I would talk to the friend and tell them to chill out, but as far as telling the other person, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I, I would talk to my friend and let them know that you wrong and you trifling and you need to fix what you're doing. But as far as telling they they partner, I feel like that low key is a betrayal because you don't really owe the other person no loyalty. You owe your best friend that loyalty. But I'm I'm gonna still let you know you ain't you ain't. You ain't. But yeah, I ain't gonna say nothing. But if they ask me, I'm gonna just say ask ask them because I don't know. Both of them. Ooh. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna just remove myself from the whole scenario. 
because either way, I'm gonna be wrong. Like both sides, I'm gonna be wrong because if I don't tell that friend and they find out that I do, they're gonna be pissed at me. And then if I do tell the other, so I just mind my business, relax, wash on the back and holler, you know? Cause eventually <laughs> uh, it's gonna come to the light, man. I, I agree. Cause like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, Aira, like, this, this dude is doing so good by you and you out here doing all this. Like, what 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 do you see that I don't yeah. that, that's causing you to do this to him? Because from my perspective, he perfect. Like, he's he out there doing it. And then you just I'ma tell you how bad you is. I promise you I am. I'ma tell you. I'ma I would let you know. I would I'll probably cuss you out and all. <laughs> But as far as telling him, man, that ain't my business tell. Cause hmm. some people get angry at you for ruining something that was good to them in their eyes. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching this episode of Caught Up. Tune in next week for the next episode. Bye. If you enjoyed this episode of Caught Up, you can check out more down below and some of the other videos on the channel. Also, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification so you can always like. Out of, and just more like content. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day.